There are some pretty compelling reasons why I think that some people should stop publishing with Amazon KDP. Now, there are some honed truths which I think I should share with you for those of you that might be publishing the wrong way or have been given the wrong direction with how to publish because I want you to publish great quality books. But many people fail at this because they're led to believe that they can make thousands of dollars in the first couple of months of publishing, which is just not going to be true for 99.9% .9 of people. So I've, I've written some notes here. So I'm going to reflect on these notes about some home truths first about publishing on Amazon KDP. Now, if you haven't been on my channel before, welcome. My name is Romney and I'm the founder of Global Self Publishing and I've been publishing with KDP now for just over four years. I've sold in excess of 200,000 books and I've also got several courses, best-selling courses about self-publishing. So I've got some good knowledge and history of publishing and therefore I want to help you with your publishing moving forward. So firstly, some home truths. Your first books are likely to fail, like mine did. I published some very ordinary books. I think I published them too quickly. I didn't give them time to uh, I didn't give them love to really to make them work. I was too much of a rush to get these books published and I thought that once I published them that they'd reach a global audience and they'd start selling. Well, that was completely wrong and it was probably what I was led to believe would have happened and if someone had told me that I should probably slow down, then that would have been great advice. So that's the first thing. Second thing is your income won't be $1,000 per month if you start creating poor quality books and are not willing to do the work to market and advertise your books. I do see uh, videos where it might be a tutorial say make your first $1,000 on Amazon KDP. Well, you can be shown the different steps, but if you're not told that your books have to have great book covers, really good descriptions. You need to have a launch process in place when you market, sorry, when you uh, upload your books and your book goes live. If you're not told any of these sort of things, then the little chances are that you're highly likely to have a book that just fails dismally. And I've got I've got tons of books that haven't done well at all. And I'm not proud of the fact that I've got those books up there. Most of them I've removed now just because I don't want these books that are up there. There are still some there that are in the millions with in regards to BSR. But I've also got different pen names that I publish under and I've also got books that I've got as audiobooks. I've got my long form books. I've got books that are on Draft to Digital. I've got books that are on Ingram Spark, along with Amazon KDP. So I've got a big, wide distribution of my books across the platforms. And with that, I might actually jump down a step because a lot of people fall for the trap of continuing to publish uh, no content books and even some lower range, low content books. And I just think that if you fall into the trap of just continuing to publish those books because it is um, easy to do, then you'll come up against millions of other people that find it easy to do as well. Therefore, competition for keywords, for titles, for getting customers to view your book becomes significant. So again, another reason maybe why you should stop is if you continue to think that if you publish plenty of books, like 350, 400, 500 books, that something will stick. Well, if you keep creating terrible books, nothing will ever stick. So you need to keep that in mind. Next thing here, next, sorry, next thing is you are unlikely to make any money if you are not prepared to invest in your knowledge. Again, I made this mistake from the start. So I can understand if you're making a similar mistake. You're trying to learn the free way by just spending tons of time on YouTube, going through videos. Well, I can tell you, you can expedite your knowledge and experience by getting a course or, or yeah, well, probably a course is the best way because if you can get a great course that condenses the information into two, three hours rather than you spending 30 hours, well, you've got to put a time 
and the amount on the time that you spend doing that research. If you can condense it down into bite-sized chunks, then that's going to be much better for you. Next one is invest in the right software. Again, it's a time saver. If you don't value your time, you'll be spending hours doing research where a software tool like Publisher Rocket or KD Spy or even Canva for design can just make things so much more professional, save so much time, therefore saving you money because your hourly rate means that you can create better quality books, get them published and sell more books much quicker. Next one is invest in marketing. The number of times I've said to people that if they publish their book and expect Amazon to do the marketing for them, they're going to get a rude shock because Amazon aren't in the marketplace to provide free marketing. Why would they? They're there to sell books that sell well. So if you've got good social proof via reviews, getting sales, and you're marketing using, say, Amazon ads, then, of course, Amazon are going to be putting your book on page one because it's selling. They don't sell, they don't put books on page one that don't sell. So you need to spend money on advertising your book and having that launch strategy, getting social reviews to make sure your book is going to be seen by more customers. Now, you're likely to give up quickly if your main priority and objective is to simply make tons of money. If you're not going to be in it for the right reasons of making a positive impact on people, then you're not going to spend that quality time to make great quality books in areas that people need. Your main focus will be to pump books out as quickly as you can to see if you can get sales. You just need to pull back, slow down, do that proper niche research, find out what customers are looking for, spend quality time to make that book, engage book cover designers if you need to be, uh, if you need to, illustrators, spend money on advertising, um, do whatever you can to make that book a great book. And on reflection, I wish I'd only ever published 10 books rather than the books that I have because I know that if I'd produced and spent time and uh, published great books from the very get-go and quality books, it would have made such a significant difference to my publishing journey and where I am right now. Be so much further ahead than where I am but I'm still happy with the books that I've sold, but I could have been much further ahead. However, I have learned through that process. And the last thing is you'll probably give up very, very quickly if you happen to blow your full budget on Amazon ads without knowing how Amazon ads work. There are people that use Amazon ads for the first time with little or no experience at all, put a hell of a lot of money into um, keywords like at 70 cents a click they've listed their book at 10.99 and then once they get five or six clicks on a book before someone purchases it it actually you're going backwards because you're eroding any profitability from the book remember if you've got a book that's selling at say eleven dollars if you've got a high click rate you, the profit you're going to be making from a book like that is only going to be about two dollars fifty anyway so within four to five clicks, your book profitability is gone if you are using Amazon ads and using the wrong strategy for keywords. I can't stress enough the importance of getting some experience or knowledge within that. Again, it can be via a course or some other video or content that you watch. Just do your research because it is the quickest way to go into the, into the uh, red very, very quickly by not having the experience, you blow your budget, therefore, if you create any other books, you get you feel like you've been, already been burnt by Amazon ads, therefore, you're not willing to invest that time to uh, invest again into Amazon advertising. You might try and do some free methods and go into Facebook groups or, or use YouTube videos, um, things like that, which can be effective, but it's the long way around. Amazon ads still, for me, is the quickest way to gain traction, to get those sales and reviews because you're dealing with an audience that is already on Amazon. You don't have to take them from one platform to another. What's one last note here? I think that publishing with Amazon is a longer term journey for you. If you're in it just for that short term gain, then you're going to be terribly upset. 
because it doesn't work like that. You need to invest for the for the longer term with what you're doing. And the number of people that I've seen come and go through Amazon KDP is just enormous. And what I'm wanting to do is to create a community very, very shortly uh, that involves people that want to take it to the next level with their publishing. They want to learn more. They want to learn the right skills um, and have contact um, with Q&A sessions with me. So just keep an eye out very, very shortly for some new content that I'm creating about a new community for KDP that I'd love to create for like-minded people that come together, that can learn together and evolve, share wins, talk about some um, challenges they might be having. So that's what I'm looking at creating in the very, very near future. So give me a thumbs up if you're looking forward to that. I'll make a comment and I'll be um, looking forward to, to, to elaborating on that further very soon. So hopefully these tips help and you might as well stop KDP if you're not willing to invest in the long term with this. And if you're not willing to do those initial steps and uh, invest in yourself and in your knowledge and in the tools that help you, then it is going to be such a difficult challenge for you to make anything from publishing with Amazon KDP. And I've also um, got advice around publishing broadly as well, which I'll talk about in another video. So hopefully this information helps. Um, it was a bit of a rant, but I do think that it's important to share this information with you too. So if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Add a comment if you want to. Check out globalselfpublishing.com if you want further uh, resources and tools to help you with your self-publishing. So until my next video, I look forward to seeing you then.